everybody welcome back to my channel i had a repeat customer reach out to me i made her daughter a mini mouse tutu last year and this year she's turning two and she'd like for me to make a mermaid tutu for her and she really liked this ribbon that she sent so together we came up with these colors i think that the light blue and the light purple are very aquatic colors together so we're going to use those and then for the trim the ribbon trim she liked the matching light purple to place the mermaid ribbon on top. And then I thought it would be nice to add just a little flash of glitter there on the bottom because it would tie in the gold on the uh, scales inside the ribbon. And then also I'm making a top and the gold will be incorporated in that as well. And I have the matching threads here. I got the light yellow. I got the light purple and I got the light blue. Now, I generally use the light yellow for uh, the gold because they do sell the gold um, thread, but it can be difficult to work with sometimes when you thread it through the machine. And I find that I don't like the way it matches the, the ribbon. So I will always use the light yellow. It, blends in with the glitter like i mentioned before we're making a 2t uh, size tutu today so i'm going to do 12 yards of fabric and since it's for a 2t uh, we're going to make that 16 inches long to fold in half to make an 8 inch tutu okay so let's roll out six yards of each fabric and remember if you have a cutting mat this is three feet and it's three feet in a yard. So we'll need six of each color. Now okay. let's roll these out. And I'm just gonna cut right along the edge here. I still haven't replaced my roller blade. So I normally like using a roller blade, but I just gotta use my scissors. That's one. Keep it together. This came up undone for some reason. Let me get this together. Okay. Alrighty. Let's do two. And after this one, we roll it out, cut the length we want, and it doesn't have to be a perfect measurement because when you crunch the tutu up, it's really not gonna make a difference. And after this cut here, I'll just speed it up since I know we all have busy days to get to. Alrighty. I'm gonna do four more purple and six blue. Okay, now it's time for us to cut the length of the tutu. So let's get our fabric. Now you have the folded edge here, and then you have the uh, rough edge at the end here. <clears throat> so I always put that to the left. I think it keeps the fabric together better. And we are going to do eight inch tutu, so we need 16 inches. Now remember, when we're cutting this, it's folded in half, so when we're actually sewing it together, we're using two pieces to fold in half, okay? So let's cut here. I always like to cut off the edge. All right. And I have this little dollar store to, uh, roller cutter and I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Okay, and these work really well. And let's do 16 inches. So that's going to put me at what, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, right there. Okay, let's cut this end. Oops. Okay, and we're going to save this for later because we never know what we're going to make. These spare pieces, uh, scrap pieces, are good for making the no sew tutu. So don't throw your scraps away. You can make so many things with them. All right, so now we have our 16 inches, and when we fold it in half, we're gonna have our eight inches. 
And again, remember, we got two pieces of fabric here, so keep it together. It'll make it easier when you're sewing it on the machine. I'm just gonna place this aside. Let's do one more. Okay, make sure when you're cutting it that uh, you're working with like a nice flat piece of fabric. Let's straighten this out here. It's good enough, okay. I'm gonna line these edges real quick. Okay. You know, take the time now to make sure everything's together because later, when you're at the sewing mach machine, you just wanna zip through it. Okay, let me do it this way. I have the folded edge towards me. I'll fold it in half. And then I'm going to, and remember, folded edge here. And let's cut here. I'm going to take off the edge. I always take off about an inch or so, sometimes more. Sometimes the fabric is all bunched and weird, so I'll cut off any irregularities. Okay. I don't know if you noticed when I was cutting the long pieces of tulle, um, there was a hole, a couple of holes in the tulle along here, so I just cut that piece out and started from there. Don't want to send off a holy tutu. <laughs> Okay, so let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, right there. Oh, wait, 16. <laughs> two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. I almost got confused. I'm so used to making the smaller ones. I enjoy the smaller ones, but who am I to deny a customer? And you'll always wanna, you know, make exactly what your customer wants because you want them to come back. And I love seeing the little girls grow. I have multiple customers that come back to me year after year. And one of the biggest tutus I've made is an eight inch tutu. So not an eight inch for an eight year old. So, I mean, you know, even adults love wearing them and, and older girls do too, cause they're so cute. Um, okay, so now I'm just gonna zip through it. I think you get the gist of um, what we need to do at this point. Now we're done cutting our 16 inches that will fold in half to make our eight inch tutu, okay? Now, we're gonna go to the sewing machine, but again, let me just point out that you have two pieces of fabric here. One, two, keep them together, because if you go to the sewing machine and they start separating, it can be a headache. That happens to me all the time, so take your time. So we're gonna go to the sewing machine and we're going to rotate our colors. So we're gonna do purple, uh, blue, purple, blue, purple, blue, purple, all the way around till we're done. Let's take our fabric now and open it up, unfold it all, but remember, keep the two pieces together. And we're going to fold that, you know, open it all the way down. I like to shove it under my table. And then we're gonna fold it in half, okay. And then we're gonna place this under the presser foot and be sure to shift this part over the folded edge, have the folded edge to the right side. Let me turn on the machine here. To the right side of your presser foot over at, at least uh, an inch. And like I said before, I like to do under that for a snug fit with my elastic. So I'm gonna place that down. What it should look like. Now my needle is positioned in the center and to the right of the presser foot, I have my folded edge. And over here I have the, what I like to call the raw edge, the, you know, the open rough edge. And my sewing machine has a little, a measuring ruler here. So this line all the way over here is the one inch, but I like to go right under that. So we're going to stitch forward back stitch and then forward again and then we're gonna go all the way to the end of our piece of tool. I'm gonna hold the camera in one hand and I'm gonna hold my fabric here in the other. So we're gonna forward stitch. Okay, then I'm going to back stitch. And then I'm going to forward stitch. Okay, let's go all the way down. See how we're creating that channel here? Hold on, let me 
Let me sew a little bit more. Okay, let's see if you can see the channel. On this right side here, this is the channel where your elastic will go through. And be sure when you're sewing along to get the two pieces. Now remember, it's two pieces of fabric, one, two. Get them from the edge, one edge. Make sure the other edge is aligned. And sometimes you just have to push it over using this motion. Align it here and then push it over so that it will align here. Now don't worry if it's not perfectly aligned, especially when you're doing a, a ribbon trim at the bottom here, that will cover up if it's a little off. But you do want to make sure you have a, a good amount of space here for your elastic to be threaded to. So I will keep it together, I'll pinch the end, I'll hold it and I'll run it through. <laughs> I'll feed it through the machine, but if you watch any of my other videos, you'll notice I'm always aligning it here on the left, and then I'll shift the fabric over, and then I'll sew it. And then I'll stop. I'll make sure everything is aligned. Shift it over. We're coming to the end here. Okay. just about to hit the end and a lot of times especially if you're using scissors you'll find that the edge doesn't meet up proper uh, exactly so you see this part here is shorter than this top part here so what i'll do at this point is i'll just get my scissors and I will just straighten it out. Okay, and that's it for that. And then I will continue to sew to the end here. Make sure I have my... When I come to the end here, I'm gonna forward stitch the end back stitch, and then forward stitch again, just to lock your stitch. In. Okay, now at this point, don't take it off your machine um, because that just takes more time away from you completing the tutu. So just let it run a bit. Okay. I'll let it hang, and then I'll go to my next piece. Let's get our next piece. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna put it under my table. I'm going to fold it in half. Okay. And I'm going to place the fold, folded edge to the right of the presser foot and inch our little less. I'm going to forward stitch, back stitch, and forward stitch to lock in the stitch. <laughs> We're just going to follow the same process all the way down this piece. Let's do that. I'm going to stop. I'm going to align my edges. I'm going to shift the fabric over. And I'm going to sew. Keep feeding the fabric through. I'll go further down. I'll align the pieces on the left, shift it over to the right, and feed it through the machine. Okay, keep going almost to the end of this piece. This one wasn't so bad at the end here. Let's see if you can see that. See how it was just a little bit off right here, just a little bit. I'll just leave that alone. It doesn't make a difference. It's not too much. I won't cut it. I'm 
getting to the end, we're gonna forward stitch the end, back stitch and forward stitch to lock it. And then we're gonna just let the machine sew uh, the thread alone, no fabric underneath, before we get our next piece. Now I'm going to put the tool in order of which I'm going to sew it in. So I'm gonna do purple, blue, purple, blue, or blue, purple, blue, purple. It doesn't matter, it's all gonna to come together. But I just wanted to show you how we created that channel here. See it here, the channel. And this is where our elastic is going to go through. So let's just put these in order. Blue, purple, And it's such an ugly day here in Texas. I don't know if you can tell, but my video is a bit grainy today and it's because it's such an ugly day outside. I hate when that happens. Okay, almost done here. Nice purple, blue, and purple. Blue and purple. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to sew these together. So we're going to take our two edges here, our um, channels, and we're going to align the threads, okay? So they should be aligned and the ch channels should be like that because we're going to sew from this point down, okay? I'm gonna give you a close up. You see here, both of the thread lines are meeting each other straight across and then here's our fabric down to the end, okay? It's okay if this is a little off at the end, we're gonna put a ribbon, it's not gonna show, but be sure to align the thread lines together up here. And what I do is I just align my presser foot along the edge there. We're gonna go, we're gonna sew from the bottom of that stitch line, right? We're gonna forward stitch, back stitch, forward stitch. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. Forward stitch, stitch, and forward stitch to the end here. stitch, back stitch, forward stitch to lock in the threads. And there we have it. We're done with that one. Here's what we have. We have the stitch line. We started below that and we came to the end. Now let's get these threads off so that we don't have to do it later. Okay. All right, and now, so we have our purple here to the left. This is our, our nice side right here. This is the back side that has our stitching. So we're going to move it along. And now we're going to do a purple one. I'm gonna get my purple one. Okay. Oops, I got caught here. I'm going to put my purple one. Let's see, let me just make sure again. Okay. I'm going to put my purple one on top of this one. And I'm going to align my threads again. Align the threads here, just like that. See that? Where's the thing? There we go. See that? They're aligned. There's two of them. Okay. Then we're going to put this under the presser foot and we're going to align it and sew all the way down. Now I'm putting the purple on top because once we're done sewing, the nice side's gonna be on the top and the rough side's gonna be on the bottom. And you're gonna do that all the way throughout the process. So when I do my next one, the blue one, I'm going to get the blue one and I'm gonna place that on top. Oops, where's my blue one? 
I'm going to place that on top of the purple one. And that will sew the rough edge. That will sew the rough edge on the inside and the smooth edge on the outside. And I want to show you this piece here. I'm going to cut these threads off first before I show you what I'm talking about. Okay. Remember when I told you when we're cutting the, th the tool, sometimes it's off. See that? How it's all off? The purple one is wider. This one's the purple right here. And this is the blue back here. The blue is all the way down here and it's off. And that's okay because what we'll do, and what I always do after I sew all my pieces together is I come back in here and I will cut them to give them a nice edge. So it's not all wonky. Cut right along there. And then we'll have a nice straight edge, okay? So don't worry about it, but when you're placing the fabric under your presser foot, make sure that you get everything underneath. Push the, um, the bigger piece uh, over more than the other piece. Okay, so I'm just gonna speed it up now, just again. So I have my purple, now I'm gonna get my blue, and like I mentioned before, get the edge, align it here. It's on top, on top of the uh, purple one. You're placing these pieces on top, aligned here, and to the left. Okay, don't put them under, just put them on top. Now we're done with that. We're gonna go ahead and go through here. And like I said, we're going to cut them all even. So this one's a little rough looking, not too bad. But, and actually look, I noticed I didn't get the very top here. It's not meeting. So that's why you gotta pay attention to the fabric and underneath it to make sure you're catching everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put it back in here and sew it. Okay. Now, I definitely got it in there because you don't want it falling apart on you. Okay, let's get rid of these top pieces of thread. And then, now I have those two lines because I made that one. All right, now I'm gonna just cut right along that stitch line there just to give me a nice smooth edge. Don't get too close to the thread because then it'll unravel. Okay, and then what I do when I come to the top is I kind of go at an angle because you don't want to get that stitch line either, but this one is a little long, so I'm just gonna kind of cut it at an angle. It's really not gonna matter because when we Crunch it all up, you're not even gonna be able to tell. Okay, now I'm going to my next one. That one was the one I showed you earlier. Here's my next one. See how it's all wonky? Okay, let's just get it. Okay, we have our wonky edge. And we're just gonna get our scissors. Make sure you can see this. Just gonna cut right along that edge. Nice and straight, and at the top, we're gonna kind of go over to get that top piece without going past. You don't wanna go past the stitch line, remember, because then you close this stitch off, and then it's gonna unravel, and there we have it. It's a little off right there, because I was trying to show you all. See it right here? I was trying to show you all how to cut it. It's no biggie, but I'm just gonna straighten it out. It took right let's go to our next one this one's okay let's look at this one okay here's another one get your threads off the top i normally just pull them and then let the scissors hit right up against them so that it can get as close as possible because i don't want any loose threads and then i'm going to cut along there again I'm going to do it down here because I want my edge to be straight. As, as straight as I can get it. Okay. 
right? And then when we get to the top, we're just gonna kind of cut like that. Just cut like that to the right. Like a little small curve. Okay, I'm just gonna finish that off. Time to add the purple ribbon. This is gonna be our ribbon that's at the bottom edge of our tutu. Okay. And what we're gonna do is you have your smooth side, right? The nice side and your raw side. I always call this the raw side, the rough side, whatever. And we're gonna place the smooth, the smooth side down under the presser foot and the rough side's gonna be placed facing up. And I already have my purple thread in the machine, so look at me. <laughs> all right. Now, get all of your fabric that you just sewed together, the big long piece, right? And you're gonna put it all to the right side of you because we want the rough side, the sewn part, facing up. Ouch, that was my elbow. Facing up, okay? This is the rough side. This is the smooth side where we have it stitched nicely together. Can you see that? Yeah. I'm the worst when it comes to showing this stuff. <laughs> okay, see that? All right, so take the rough side, it's face up, and we're gonna get our rough edge, this bottom edge of all the loose pieces. So we're gonna straighten it out, and we're gonna place this right on top of this ribbon. Now this piece, as you can see, is a little off. So before I place it down, because it's my starting piece, I'm gonna straight it, straighten it out a little bit. But when I'm sewing the tutu further down, it's not gonna make a difference. It's just the starting piece that I wanna have nice and aligned. Okay, and then I'm gonna place that on top of this ribbon. And I'm gonna put my presser foot on the top okay you have your ribbon you want to align your tool fabric and to the left here you're gonna start sewing sorry it's, it's focusing on my hand you're gonna start sewing right along here you can sew down the middle if you find that easier I just think it looks nicer and neater if I sew right along this edge. And I'm gonna do this to the entire length of the tutu that we just sewed the two pieces together. Okay, so let's, let me do, start it off here. I always like to show you all, holding the camera with one hand. Okay, here we go. Forward stitch, and then I'm going to back stitch, and then I'm going to forward stitch. Sorry, my fabric's moving. Make sure you keep it together though. Okay, all right, now we're gonna do this all the way down. Now we'll wanna add our beautiful um, scale ribbon, okay? Mermaid scale ribbon. So now we're gonna flip it over as you can see how nicely uh, we sewed our little uh, top there. So it looks really nice. So now what we're going to do is I am going to bring all my tutu to my side here. Okay. All 12 yards. Bring it to one side. And then I'm gonna flip it over. Now we're going to be working on top. Let me get this off of here. Trim these off. I'm gonna place the mermaid ribbon on the top. Okay. And I get these at Hobby Lobby for $3.99, but I never buy my ribbon full price. I always wait till I have a 50% off sale. And this is the ribbon that one of my moms wanted for this tutu, like I mentioned earlier. And this is a 12, uh, 12 yard tutu. So those spools come in three yards. So you need four of them to get this done. Now for the scales, you want the scales to face the, the circles, the round part to face to the left. <laughs> okay, so what I have to do, let me see how I'm gonna do this. Actually, here we go, okay. Um, well, to make things easier for me, 
I'm actually going to have to put all my fabric to the right. Oh, here we go again. All of it to the right. Just because it matters when it comes to the placement of your ribbon to make things easier for you. So I'm placing it to the right because I want my scales, the scales, the circles of them to face down. So not up, down. So I'm gonna place this down and I'm gonna show you. Okay, see here, I did the same thing. I have the needle aligned so that I can, so right along this edge, but I use this line, stitching line here, kind of like my guideline. I'll put this piece over it just a little bit. A lot of times I'll line it up if it's a little thicker. I hope you can see that. Okay, there you go. See, I will line this up and we will sew this all the way down. Remember, forward stitch, back stitch, forward stitch to lock in your threads and do this all the way down, okay? Again, align these two and you see how the scales are facing down towards the end of the, um, the, the tutu. You don't want the scales up because that's not how a mermaid scales are. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna zip through this. Now it's time to add the gold. So we have the top of our um, uh, tutu and we want the ribbons that we just added and the channel side to be on the left and the ribbon on the right of the presser foot, okay? And we're gonna get our gold. I already threaded my light yellow um, thread through there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna add this to give it just that little extra to go with the gold in the um, ribbon. Uh, is I'm just going to, you see this piece here? I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna just put it right at the edge there and sew it along. Let's see if I can show you that right there at the edge. So in the back, that's what the back is gonna look like. I'm gonna run it just like that, okay? Just adds a little extra. Again, I'm gonna do the things that make your tutus different from everybody else's. Okay, so let's forward stitch and back stitch. And we're gonna do this all the way down. All right, we're all done with that. So now all we have to do is thread the elastic through. Look at that. How beautiful that turned out. I really like that. Okay, now we're going to do the elastic. And this is the uh, three-fourths. Can you see that? Uh, right there. Three-fourths uh, non-roll elastic. And I got this one at Joann's. And there you go. That's what it says. Okay? All right. I need... Um, 15 inches and I really like Joann's elastic better than Hobby Lobby's elastic because Hobby Lobby's has a lot of, lot of give in it like uh, you get it and then you stretch it and you have a piece this big and it gets this big so this one I really like from Joann's all right 15 inches and don't stretch it just lay it down 15 inches and I'm going to add one inch for uh, the overlap to close it. I use half an inch on each side to overlap it, okay? There you go. Now, I have my big safety pin. I really like using this big one. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my elastic, and I'm gonna fold it, right? You have the folded part facing outward, so you're gonna Put your safety pin in there. There's all sorts of things that you can use to thread elastic, but I like this one the most. And when you thread, have this outside folded part on, let's see when I do it, have it on the top towards you. This piece here, this folded piece towards you when you're threading it through, through because it just makes it much easier. Now I'm gonna get this end. Wait, yes. 
See, I like to start with the end of the nice side facing towards the outside of you, okay? Because then when you feed it through, you're just going to be doing this, right? Okay. It really doesn't matter. Okay, you have your two pieces of fabric. Remember, we folded it in half, so there's two pieces. You want to make sure you get in the center of that because if you don't, you'll have the elastic running on the top layer and not through the middle. So I'm going to get my safety pin and put it in there. Make sure you get it in there. Well, I'm going to hold one end with my right hand and I'm going to slide the fabric, lift my thumb, hold it. And then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to pull it through. When you first start threading it through, uh, you want to just make sure it gets over the elastic and then you pull it through. Then you, you're holding it and you want to slide with the left hand, pull with the right, whichever hand you work with. Okay, just keep pulling. Make sure that it doesn't come off the end here. You can put a clip here or something to make sure that it doesn't, but make sure that you push it over though because you're going to need all the space to get the tutu on there. Okay, just keep doing that. And sliding. Okay, now we're coming to the next color. Same thing, okay? Make sure you get in between the two pieces here. Put your safety pin in. Make sure it gets over that uh, piece of elastic right here, the knot, not the knot, but the bolt, the bump, and then pull through, okay? okay. Slide and pull. Slide, 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 pull. Slide, 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 slide. See, I hold it with my thumb, slide, I pick it up, hold it. I slide, pick my thumb up, hold it, and then I just pull. Alrighty, I'm just gonna speed this up. Here we go. So nice. Now we're gonna wanna close this up, take my safety pin off. And remember, we allotted half an inch for each side so that we can sew it like that. I usually do this by hand because I think it's a lot easier than using my sewing machine, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So um, I did the elastic, I'll show you here. It's all closed up, it's not going anywhere. You wanna give it a, a pull to make sure you don't want uh, the little, your little one wearing it and uh, it's fall right off, right? Okay, so then you want to tuck that under and then kind of start, you know, shifting it around. But I wanted to show you this because I went ahead and I closed up my tutu. I don't like leaving my tutus open. I like to close them up. And um, because I'm running out of storage, I was trying to um, record the uh, sewing the elastic together and my camera went out. So I'm going to be a little fast here. So after I sewed the two pieces together, and uh, you wanna make sure you align the ribbon. Keep the ribbons aligned when you're doing that, okay? Take off my, and I did it in yellow so that you could see. Let me just take these pieces off real quick. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna take them off up here. All right, I'm gonna cut along here because I like making things look nice and clean. A nice clean edge it's sewn together be sure to match up your ribbon lines and that's it now all you want to do is kind of move it around make it even but look how beautiful that is I also made a bow for this earlier on in the day I thought a gold bow would look really nice to complement the gold that I added to the end and inside that ribbon there. And I added a little mermaid. Look at how cute that is. Um, I've mentioned before, you know, everybody's making tutus and I like to add the little things to make mine different from everybody else. Let me get this tutu on the mannequin, but let me show you the bottom of this. Look how full that is. That is so full. I'll get this on the mannequin. I'm gonna put that bow on there. 
and give you a final view. Here we have it. I put some nice bright light on it so you can see how beautiful the colors are. And if you want to see these tutus worn, check them out on my Too Too Much to Love Instagram. And I hope that you like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.